So you are all uh, standing in the uh, room, I guess panting heavily most likely. Um, the smoldering pile that once was Dukia is still sitting before you. What would you like to do? So, oh, do you think we could convince them that we were jumped by a demon and we're protecting them? Good talk, team. <laughs> Lacoon kind of like looks around. It helps if I'm not muted. That's all. sorry. Do we have to talk to them again? I mean. Are we locked in here? No, we. I know we'll try the door. Um, the door is uh, unlocked. Is there anything of value in this room that we can loot before we go? <laughs> that was the big door that they all came in, and then the door. And that's that the we one that got locked, in. right? That's the one that got locked. Did we come in a different door to that, or is there only do one door in and out of that chamber? Uh, no, there's only, yeah, there's only one door in and out of this chamber. Okay. But it is unlocked now. Riga didn't lock the door, she just tried to fake us out. Riga to cure. Yeah, what, what happened, or is it um, some kind of magic lock? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, just... then we can escape if we're allowed, and quickly. Before they realize anything's gone wrong. Yes. Um, I'm sure they won't think too much about uh, a missing human. They don't think much of us at all. Uh, can anyone clean up the, the goo mess that he left behind? Does... Oh, Eli has pressed a digitation. Eli is going to press a digitate out of the Rakshasa it... grease spot out of the, is, out is the marble. Is Eli there? Oh, Eli's I'm... not here. That's right. So we, we can't. Can you burn it? Uh... Have you got sacred flame? I'm know. not a kind of cleric. Uh... I mean. If you have some burning. I don't have any burning. Oh, I do have burning. <laughs> uh, I could uh, use one of these and kind of like roll one of the fireball bees between my fingers. And, and I don't... I mean, it seems a little extreme. But it's the closest mm. I've got. I could kind of shrugs. Mina's going to go for divine intervention. <laughs> <laughs> to out the of a corpse. <laughs> to the body. That's exactly what it was intended for. 95. So <laughs> he who watches this is like, bitch, really? what? <laughs> That's what you're going to say. Her like... ears, ears start ringing. <laughs> is that like a curtain? I can just kind of scoot it under something a bench I can put across it move a move a, a cushion or a rug over it yeah. yeah there's a dining table there's a rug I will choose a rug and then you know give it like a few good steps just to kind of like even it out a little um, <laughs> depending on how meaty it still is Sure. Uh, you, All you, done. You can cover it, kind of, you know, pretty well. Uh, it's still there's a bit of a lump, uh, and the rug's like beginning to go a sort of funny color, but it it does the job. Uh, it'll definitely decrease or, or increase the time before uh, anyone notices. That's for sure. If 
only we had some sort of ring of earth control and could phase <laughs> into the ground. I have had control water for ages, or like, you know, something something water for ages. I finally got rid of it, and now I need it. And now you need to hose down the room. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh well. You never know when you're going to need to hose down a room. Lesson learned, I guess. The hard way, probably, when they discover the body. Right, well, if we're done with that, I suggest we vacate the premises before they come looking. Use uh, one of the beads. Right. Uh, do you think we could look for Adelaide while we're here? Adelaide. Oh. Uh, She's meant to be in the palace, right? The palace is very big. I do not think that they would let us wander about, but we can always try. I mean... Do you, do you know where she was last time? You can make it, uh, I mean, as a minotaur, he knows everywhere he's been. True. Um, I was, mm. was going to give you a, a check, but yeah, I guess you would just know... She might not necessarily be in the same room, but he at least yeah, knows yeah, the room you know where she, she used to be. She was last time. Yeah, she was in. Yeah. Um, so. How about? Is... Sorry. I mean, oh. I can give but, us an uh, hour. I can make. Um, I can go ethereal. Mm. With my kobesh. Oh, well, I can. Of... Uh... I can make uh, Makuta and I disappear. Okay. That sounds good. Let me just make sure. See how long etherealness lasts. Oops, went Russian. Did not mean to. This is not the time for a snack. Uh, but, uh, uh, ethereal goes you. Uh, duration eight hours. Just if you uh, run into trouble, know that it will. Um, oh. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, 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 never mind, yeah. It will, I suppose you just lose concentration on it, because it's not like... Right, okay, yeah, it's not like a uh, wind walk, I can just drop it anytime I want to. Okay, never mind. Use my action to dismiss as well. Sweet. So yeah. I'll do that while they go invisibles, I guess. Alright, Makud, you're still going to have to be very quiet. He uh, stops standing on the duke here, like, <laughs> lumpy carpet, and is like, okay, I can do this. Oh, is it possible for you to make one small thing not be invisible? Because if I go ethereal, I won't be able to see you to follow you. So I guess technically you won't be able to see Makud either. To follow him. But you guys can hold hands. You can't hold my hand. Okay, never mind. I need to be able to follow you guys because I won't be able to see you. <laughs> So why don't we just all go invisible and hold hands on this little field trip around the palace? Okay. Trying to save you a spell slot. <laughs> we might need the ethereal for later. To get that the lay adult, maybe? Oh, yeah, because it's not attunement. Just hand her this and be like, think real hard about being... Ah... <laughs> uh... About not being. <laughs> he obviously had a smarter idea than he thought he did. I, I was just like, he might need it later to get into the room or something. But like, <laughs> if Mina says that, he's like, mm, yes, good plan. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> so, we're going to hold out our hands and be like, everybody, let's join hands. Mm-hmm. And like, once everyone's like, Holding on to someone else, I will cast invisibility. Okay. 
at a fourth level. Everyone slowly vanishes from the uh, sight of everyone else. <laughs> this is gonna go great. This is the best plan we've ever had. Yeah, Don't but... ridicule it. I would never do such a thing. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys are now free to travel through the palace. Uh, I was just checking. I, was I actually have those booties of elven kind for my hooves, so I am um, both have advantage on things against being seen from the invisibility and being heard from the boots of elven kind. So he is very quiet. You have super advantage. Um, yeah. So basically, you guys uh, have yes. Um, or what I was saying before was basically you guys. Um, Yay. He would try and lead them oh, shit. along. I think. Whatever is the best route. Can you guys In terms of it? staying stealthed. Uh -oh, Not necessarily okay. the most direct path, etc., etc. Not really. I mean, I think Rob has got, like, a little bit of a delay. Just heard people like you know, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. yeah, I had well, it too. Hello, oh, wait, can you hear me? It might have been Rob, yes, but you sound yes. super quiet. I don't know why this, like, why this happens because I have been playing online games today and was in Discord with C earlier, no problems, and then as soon as it becomes like 11. The internet just suddenly dies, and I don't know why. Sad times. Yeah, it's fucking pissing me off. Well, uh, we'll keep going. Uh, I guess, if you guys can hear me. I heard all of that, so... Fantastic. Um, Basically, I said that I would take a less direct route if it meant we were safer in stealth terms. Okay, yeah. So basically the, the palace, what I was trying to say earlier, is the palace is basically like, has a central uh, kind of circular area, and then concentric rings around that, and then it's surrounded by towers, like tons and tons of towers, and each tower is like the sort of manse of a family, or, you know, a, a couple or uh, a person, and so you know which basically tower they were keeping Edelay in. Um, so I guess, yeah, we'll just, I'll just take, uh, cell checks with advantage from everyone, uh, as you're moving through. With advantage. Oh, no. Oh, work. no. Can you stack inspiration on top of advantage? <laughs> I don't think it'll matter. Wait, did you roll a two and a one? I rolled two natural ones. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no is right. I don't That's think I can use I, I don't think I can use my 
my recap inspiration for this because I already had advantage, right? I got a 26. <laughs> I got 19. No, 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 no. 19. Is there pass without a trace? I don't have pass without a trace. Yeah, no okay, well, with... with with my, intervention. with my, <laughs> I'll try once per day. Uh, with my uh, stealth modifier, though, that's a, that's a ten. So it's a pretty good modifier. Yeah, it is. Do you good. somehow tip over a statue that's like four times your size as you trip into it? And... Good grief! I will say, I think what Double happens is now. you're all kind of traveling through the various corridors but um average mina like accidentally loses contact with the group uh, oh no. no so you haven't been caught but you don't know where everyone is um and you kind of find yourself uh like getting the like smell of um like a warm fruity bath and like hearing uh, kind of running water and stuff um, whereas everyone else is hearing that sound fade as you oh guys uh, head away from the center towards the tower and I suppose with the sound of running water asking if she can hear the tiniest of sounds from her friends to figure out that she's going the wrong way isn't possible. You can make a perception so, check. A perception check, okay. 16? I'm afraid I got 19 and I was the lowest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you're, you're not able to catch any, any sound of them. Uh, My you, passive perception's 22. You're actively looking for them. No oh god. But you so yeah, you're you're not sure where they are, but you know you're in the wrong place. Um, so you okay, can make a survival check to try and uh, find your Double way back. back? Yeah. Okay. Unless you think our goal was the bath. For some reason when you said warm fruity oh. bath, I was thinking of like hedonism bot from Future Arm just like, oh my. That's a fourteen plus six for twenty. Okay, yeah. Um, you are able to kind of find your way back through the maze of the palace uh, to get to uh, what is essentially like... Um, excuse me. Um, like the doorway out to the gardens. Um, mm -hmm. But you're not going to be able to find that tower unless you spend a very long time in there. Um... But the gardens won't get me any closer to uh, escaping, right? Are the, are yeah. the gardens inside? The garden, yeah, no, the gar like the outer gardens leading to the the city. Like you can slip they through don't, the gate. They don't have like, oh, uh, oh, the, oh, they have a gate. Okay. Yeah, but you can just slip through it pretty easily. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll head out into the garden. And find a place to kind of hunker down for okay. a little while, just in case something happens and something right. loud happens. I can be close by for wings or something. Yeah, sounds good. So I'm just going to find a spot and hunker down and wait for explosions. <laughs> The rest of you, um, you travel through the palace, you do kind of see, like, you, you know, there's moments where you have to pause and then let, like, two elves pass. Um, about one in every, like, three elves. Uh, you hear them, like, coughing faintly uh, as you go past, and, like, they've all got these very fine handkerchiefs that they're, like, holding to their mouths, and you might catch, like, a, a slight glimpse of, like, flecks of blood in the, the tissue as they, like, pull it away. 
Um, but eventually, you arrive at uh, the foot of Edelie's Tower. Um, the door is very large uh, and like bolted shut uh, from the outside. Not uh, locked with any kind of padlock or anything, but you don't reckon it's you know able to be opened from the inside. Um. Well, I think we got here. He, he says, you know, turning back to his two invisible friends. So, waiting uh, for responses. Uh, Mina, what do you think uh, those elves might have? You know? <laughs> yeah, Makut looks around. <laughs> Mina? Didn't she have Makud? your hand? No, I thought she had Makud. your hand. <laughs> Makud, are you holding Avrashmina's hand? Uh, I'm holding this hand, and he, like, raises his arm, and you probably feel your arm go up. Makud, that's my hand. Someone goes, hey, that's my hand. I was going to make the joke that they managed to pick up some other invisible person <laughs> infiltrating <laughs> the palace at this very moment. <laughs> it's Maya. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've not got anything in my other hand. I thought we were like a chain. I thought you had her hand. Because we were a circle. And then we walked away and we weren't a circle anymore and I wasn't her holding her hand so I assumed you were holding her hand. I... I usually go at the front, and then I thought you guys usually walk behind me. It would be difficult to, like, work as a circle. <laughs> Which is why we stopped being a circle and became a line, and I just didn't think the line... Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, natural one. You guys just left her right there at the <laughs> beginning, and she's like... Wasn't like okay. Surely they're gonna. This is they're just gonna grab my hand any second now. And then she's like, "Guys, you guys were already gone." <laughs> oh boy. So we have lost Abishmina in the palace, you but we're right here. Word of recall, though. I guess so. Maybe if I have to... prepared. I mean. If you oh, didn't, he would be something of a fool, in my opinion. You've got somebody that can plane shift and somebody that can teleport us for free. So, we have to assume that she's either lost to us forever <laughs> <laughs> or trust that she can find her way out. Because she hasn't messaged us, letting us know that she's not with us <clears throat> in any way whatsoever. That's and... because casting a spell would break the invisibility. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so what I'm guessing is, is she'll message us if she's in trouble. And we'll still get yelled at for not coming and looking for her either way. I mean, she, she can fly, right? And yeah, she can things. fly. I'm sure she'll She's get resourceful. Out of here. She has the ethrealness. It'll be fine. You did uh, tell her she might need it later. Yeah. I'm pretty this smart. This is later. <laughs> you are very smart. So, next problem. The store. Do you know what's on the other side of it? Oh, what there used to be was... And I describe uh, the inside of the tower. I presume this door might be new since I left. But... Yeah, it doesn't look you know, exactly how it used to, but uh, yeah, it used to be basically a spiral set of stairs up into like a small lounge area and then beyond into a uh, bathroom, bedroom, that sort of thing. Uh, pretty kind of standard. Sort of abode, I guess. Uh, everything very nice and shiny and expensive. So, 
Can it be opened from this side, or is it the other side that it can't be opened from? Other side. It can be opened very easily from this side. Can we open it quietly? Or wait for someone to open it for us? I think we're going to have to open it quietly. Is there... Uh, unless, like, you know, that's well within your wheelhouse, of course, but uh, McCrood will look if there's, like, a window or something that might be easier to get into with a little bit of climbing. Uh, no, no, there's no windows. All the way up the tower? Oh, oh all the way up the tower. No, you, so you're... Sorry, I didn't, I didn't describe it right. You're still in the palace, and you're just at, like, a door... Oh, to the connected the to the tower. Yeah, so right. it's not like you've gone outside. I thought we, like, went outside yeah, and sorry, went to a different part of the palace. It's okay. Yeah. Every, everything's connected. So Internal, okay. This just looks like a doorway, but you know that on the other side of that doorway is a, a tower. Are there likely to be people on the other side of that doorway, McCoo? Uh, your recollections. There didn't used to be, but this door didn't used to be like this either. If you do, you think you can get it open quietly and for us to get through? Oh, uh, he kind of looks down at his invisible hands. Um, I can get it open. I don't know how <laughs> quietly. I can get us on the other side of that door, but we're not going to be invisible anymore. Hmm. I'm not there, but just open it. It's to keep her in, bro. I mean, yes. I, I mean, I presume... I, I, I try the door. You lift the bolt and it opens. Right. <laughs> Did I manage to do it quietly without <laughs> not dropping the bolt or something? Give me a sleight of hand check. With okay, advantage, because gotcha. it's very easy and you're taking your time. Sweet. Uh... 16. 16. Yes. Uh, you, you do manage to do so quietly. Uh, almost I like did it. The door doesn't even creak when it opens. Fantastic. I knew you could do it. I was like totally going to punch the lock out or something. No, sometimes the stealth approach works best. This is good. This is good. As I push open the door. Yes. Uh, yeah, you uh, step inside uh, to find, uh, as you remember, uh, a set of stairs leading up. Um, Though the stairs are definitely like, um, they don't look like anyone's passed through for a while. Uh, or there's like a thick layer of dust apart from in the very center of the stairs. Um, as though like that's the only part of them that's ever really used. Okay. Let's move ahead. Yeah, assuming you make your way up. Um, uh, my code. Uh, makes a, a point to hold out his hand. If we're going to carry on doing this thing. Flail around okay. trying to find the hand. There is a little bit of that. Like, he puts out the hand and then it's like, and it starts like serpentining a little bit. Well, you just hold it still. I, just, I will find it. <laughs> Cue this for <laughs> a minute or two. Okay. As you, get, go. as you get about halfway up the stairs, you hear like uh, a sort of very faint, uh, like quiet coughing. Um, oh no. The sound of, uh, uh, of, of sounds uh, vaguely female. Um, and she's 
yeah, whoever it is is coughing from the room above you. Does that sound like her cough? You've never heard her cough, McCood. I'm asking, oh, okay. It could be. Uh, I don't think she ever coughed before. Do I remember the elves generally being healthier a couple of years ago when I used to work this beat? Make a history check. I mean, my memory is the worst, <laughs> but, uh... Oh, I rolled a 19, minus 2 for 17. Um, you never really noticed them seeming sick. Um, apart from, like, once or twice you might have noticed it, but any time they sort of appeared where you could see them, they always seemed the picture of health and very perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, he will basically share that in a hushed whisper. It's like, I don't think I've ever heard them coughing. I, I don't think they were this ill before. That could be why they wanted to press for peace. Maybe. But, uh... <laughs> it's not be that bad if they weren't willing to even compromise. Could is like, do, do you think they need the people to believe in them or they get sick? <laughs> Thinking of some sort of a showery version of Santa Claus or something. I mean, I don't. Rise of the I don't think that's true. <laughs> I did. I thought I saw one of their. His hands shaking, though. I didn't think anything of it. I thought maybe he was just afraid of me, but. So I should just go see if this is your friend. He picks up the pace in reply. Yeah. Uh, you guys head up um, and find a, a darkened uh, room. Pretty messy, uh, unlike the rest of the palace. Like, just shit everywhere, nothing really put in its place, um, and you see a very, very small, um, like, very uh, skinny, pale figure uh, lying on uh, a sort of chaise, she's wearing this kind of, like, uh, white shift, um, and has, like, uh, her arm kind of over her face so that the crook of her elbow covers her eyes um, and she's just like coughing um, into her other hand which is like clutching a, a bloody rag to her mouth just every sort of 30 seconds or so she has a few coughs hey Makud just walk through the door and look heroic and if he walks through the door I'll drop invisibility as he's stepping through the door I will do so Uh, and he'll like, so he'll like stride through the door in his best kind of f champion fighter thing uh, and drop invisibility. And then I guess she's too busy coughing and can't see because she has a crook of her elbow over her. So there's just like a moment where he's stood there. Yeah. <coughs> that was much cooler in my head. <laughs> and delay. It's bolt upright, uh, like eyes wide. You can see that, like ringed with pink a little bit, um, and and she can like you can tell she's like trying to make you out in the sort of murky darkness. Like her her eyesight isn't working as well as it once did. And she says, M -m -m good uh, It is her." But in a poor state. Uh, Makud will try his best to navigate through the messy room without breaking or making a noise too much and he's just like we've come to get you out 
like you see like oh this mix of emotions cross her face like somewhere between like fear and joy she just stares up at you we got an invitation to the palace and well I still remember where you were and here you are You came back for me? She like reaches up and kind of like sort of pats the, the side of your face. Uh, sort of uh, almost like trying to affirm that you're really, really there. Uh, he, well, you know, uh, like bend over the chaise to like scoop it up as a hand comes to his face and he was saying uh we got the bella out like months ago i'm not so good with time something like that i'm brain by the way did you drop your own invisibility <laughs> or are you just yeah. saying that okay and he like turns to like point her towards you so she can see you uh she just kind of like stares at you for a moment before looking back to the good. Uh, Abella, she's safe? Yeah, I, they kept her somewhere for a while and then we found out about it and freed her and now we have our friends keeping her safe somewhere for a while. It's funny like that. Don't know what to say, and and she like begins coughing again, uh, like clutching the handkerchief to her mouth. We have a cleric who's like really powerful, but we kind of lost her in the palace. But I'm sure she could do something about this whole coughing thing. What oh is this illness? It is uh. Call it the uh, Nisande uh, Elf Elfrot. Uh, it is well. They they don't know why it's happening, really. I'm guessing by the name, it only affects elves. As, as far as we've seen. I get you out of here. But, but, but I don't want to unwittingly unleash a plague on the city. Hang on a moment. I think I got something uh, for this. And he like puts her back down again on the chaise and then like rummages about in the bag of holding. And I, ages ago, when we were like heading north, got ketones ointment. I think yeah, I found did. it in a wood yeah, or did. something, and it has five doses. He was 2d8 at plus 2 HP. The target ceases to be poisoned and is cured of any disease. He, So he pulls out the little pot. Mm -hmm. I, We found this. I think it was in the forest when we were going to your home or near your home. And, I don't know, a little sort of clay pot, I imagine, with a with a cork in or something. Yeah. Um, and he pops it, and I'm pretty sure he, he definitely, like, took a look at it at that time yeah, and yeah. had to resist not eating it all or something. I vaguely <laughs> remember pretty something. Sure that's uh, yeah. it, smells, <laughs> it smells kind of... Um... Piney, uh, anisey, like albus oil or something, you know? Like very medicinal, nice smell. Uh, so he, like, pops it and, uh, sort of crouches down, or, like, 
uh, kind of like at the sitting level of the chaise lounge, but he'll probably sit on it and it'll break. So um, he kind of crouches on his haunches uh, and holds it out to her and is like, I'm not sure how you're meant to take it, but he kind, uh, <laughs> it kind of like puts a finger in it. Um, it's kind of thick. Yeah, she like will, will like scoop some, just kind of like rub it into her neck, uh, sort of into like her pulse points, and see she like shivers, um, and a little of like the pinkish color begins to come back to her cheeks, um, and her voice sounds like a little less raspy, a little more um, normal. Um, you have, uh, at least for now, cured her of the elf rot. At least she's not going to cough. Or am I trying to get out of here, right? I mean, I figured we were just going to teleport home. Uh, <laughs> got to Mina and the sun is setting and she's still crouched in a well, so I, I, I have um, an actual plan because we could okay. go to back to our friends. Get Eli to use the sending stone to let Mina know that we're safe and she can get herself home, I hope. It's going to be better than us uh wandering around the palace trying to find her. I don't know how much time we've actually been here, but uh You've been here in total, like including Duke here and everything, probably an hour and a half. Uh, that sounds good to me. Like, it will think it through, and it seems like a sound plan. Um, it passes the Makut test. <laughs> I think that all makes sense. Uh, have you got anything you want to bring with you? He kind of... He, he doesn't have to, uh, like, glare through the murky because he still has that like lantern the soul lantern that like gives him night vision but no one else can see it like gives him it gives, light it gives you light that no one else can see yeah yes in the darkness mm. um, yeah so you can uh, yeah she kind of like gets up and, and gets a few things you see like um, she goes over and like under the sort of mattress of the chaise and she pulls out like a small bundle of letters that she like tucks into a a little satchel, um, as well as, like, a frankly huge, uh, like, sack of gold that she, like, pushes in as well, um, and a few little, like, trinkets and some clothes, um, but you can see, like, her, she's extremely shaky on her legs, her arms make you know, average Mina look like Dwayne Johnson, like, she's <laughs> incredibly skinny, um, incredibly unwell looking he would obviously assist her uh like being incredibly this very large creature being very delicate and gentle uh and you know when shifting large amounts of gold or whatever he would try to do the brunt, brunt of the work or, uh, And, I mean, he has the bag of holding if she doesn't have one. But, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, she'll she'll definitely accept that offer. Um, so I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Whenever uh, Bran dropped the invisibility, how far into the hour was it? Oh. And was anyone around Abrashmina when? <laughs> It dropped on her? Uh, no. You haven't really run okay. into anyone. Um, okay. But it, it but dropped. She it is dropped now fully you. visible. Yeah, it dropped on you about half an hour in. Okay. Cool. She's going to hide <laughs> just in case it gets loud <laughs> because she's going to think that it dropped because you got in trouble. <laughs> 
best plan ever. Um, but yeah, you guys. Um, he so he yeah he'll ask. Uh, she like goes around and uh, presumably finishes, and he'll like, "Do you want this? Do you want this?" And he's just like pointing to increasingly large bits of furniture that he could try forced into the bag or carry with the spool. How about the chaise? <laughs> what about the rocking horse? <laughs> the vanity this, mirror. This antique collection of model ships. <laughs> <clears throat> That's really quite the impressive collection. She, uh, you can, you can see, like she's getting a bit dizzy. Uh, standing up and is like needing to support herself as she like moves around the room um, and her eyelids are like fluttering she's definitely like she's just been wasting away you know, for god knows how long I've, I've got some food he like pulls out some sort of ration we have this friend who is a chef she will feed you <laughs> Late, later if, if, if we're truly getting out of here I just want to be free of this place. Okay. Uh, after they have done their sweep, he will grab the the spool and probably pick her up in one arm, like cradle her or something in one huge arm, and then the spool and kind of like whip it around all of them. Uh, and off they go. Yeah, uh, where are you teleporting to? Wherever Bryn wants her plan. I think she said uh, home in her description, but uh, sewers where our friends are. Six eyes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Six yep. eyes, uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say six eyes in here just in yeah, case yeah. we were being watched. Mm -hmm. You guys trade the uh, like silent, heavy silence of Adelaide's tower to the. Star Wars Cantina esque atmosphere of uh, the Six Eyes sewer location. Um, it's evening, so people are drinking, uh, people fighting, uh, wrestling, or you know, Uvira is serving up drinks left and right. Um, you see, uh, like, Adelaide, uh, like, screws up her eyes and, like, covers her ears at all the sound and, and brightness. Uh, Definitely unaccustomed to it, and she's like leaning into you, Maku, to like steady herself. Oh, I... Maku was like about to shout quiet, and then realized for once, realized that uh, <laughs> that would not be what she wants. Um, uh, he basically like, looks to Bryn and then turns to uh, the door into the into Charette's office because usually mm. that's one of the quietest spots because he's just yeah. you know sleep deprived in the yeah. dark, semi dark <laughs> like pouring over a piece of paper so he goes there as pretty rapidly as he can. You uh, you open the door to Charette's office uh, and there's like a, a, a very quick like flurry of movement. And you see um, uh, Allura, uh, Alluri, even, sorry, is um, like kind of leaning back against Sharat's desk, and Sharat is kind of pressed up against her, and, and they've definitely just been kissing, and they're trying to make it look like they weren't. And he kind of turns and sort of like bites his lip. Ah, Maku, uh, it is good to see you. Was wasn't expecting you. Um, I rolled a four to assess whatever that situation is, so I'm going to say that Maku <laughs> did not catch the incredibly obvious clues, uh, and he kind of just bursts in. Oh, good, you're here. I've brought another friend. Oh, oh, good, you're here. I've brought another. Quiet. She doesn't like the noise. You see him, like, look down, and his eyes go wide. Uh, and uh, he says, uh, 
pleasure to meet you. Uh, and she kind of like lets out something like a, a repetition of the phrase. Um, and I imagine you like close the door behind to like seal out the, the sounds of the party. Sure, I, I, if Bryn can come along a few ones yeah. or not. Well, Bryn's gonna go find Eli. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To enact part two of Rescue Mina. Yeah. So, um, who, who is this, Makud? Uh, this is Edele. Is it her? I remember that time that I. There was that other girl, Avella, that you saved. Or protected, he, kept safe somewhere. He nods and uh, give me an insight check. Eleven. I will say, um, you notice a change come across his face, um, and you remember that. Uh, the six eyes blackmailed her originally. Um, which, uh, like, in order to help Shirak get on the council and whatnot. Um, Blackmail Edele or Abella? Yes. With Edele. Right. With Abella. Um, which is why Edele was locked in the tower in the first place. Right. Not the attempting to escape part. Um, but you also remember that was just, <coughs> you know, them taking advantage of an opportunity rather than any personal gripe. But okay, just something, you know. Neither of these people have ever met or interacted personally, so they wouldn't know, you know, one another. But Sharat knows that he ordered it. And he probably also remembers the very angry conversation you two had about it. Because mm -hmm. you did have it out. Yeah, you were not best pleased. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> it's been a long time and I had completely forgotten. Uh, Makud may well have done the same. Or maybe he wouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> I, maybe he's not really concerned about it. He's just needs... Needed somewhere to go over and said this is a good place. Um, and Edelay is probably, you know, too near dead to... I don't know, piece it all together. Sure, I can uh, 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 Aluri, why don't you, uh... Why don't you fetch a Bella? And she kind of, like, nods and kind of wipes at her mouth and scurries out, uh, blushing furiously, not that Makud notices. Um, well, why don't we get you uh, something to eat, a place to sleep? Uh, Edelie kind of nods, uh, definitely you know, not looking super comfortable, but... Sure. He, Makut isn't going well. to put her down if she doesn't, like, make a move to... Like, he'll carry her upstairs to yeah. wherever she will be more comfortable, but... He'd just say to like uh, to Sherad, "Can you get the Bella here? Did you say she was out the city? I can't really remember. She is out the city, but we can get her uh, pretty Good. easily. It will take a little while, though. But uh, we'll ensure her safety. Adelaide probably needs lots of nights rest and food." I think so too. We'll take care of her. Unless, uh. Well, unless you'd rather deal with it yourself. I know you two were close. Uh. I mean, it's a little difficult to leave her at the Mirage because nobody is home. Um. Not even like Sugar. Or anyone. Um, and we're barely there. We kind of have things to do. I can't really carry her everywhere. I think that, you know, 
she would probably be in more harm that way. So, if you have a bed and someone to give her food, that's probably for the best. Of course. I suppose there is the island with the dragons. They make a, a mean luau there. Says, I think you you are up to the task, and he kind of like pats him heavily on the chest. Um, <laughs> Sharp exhalation of breath. Yeah. Uh, she's kind of sick, uh, and we kind of lost Mina, but we'll find her again and then bring her. Lost to Mina? see her. There was this whole thing with invisibility and who was holding whose hand. It uh, didn't work out so well. I knew where I was going. Um, he just kind of does that like thing that a lot of NPCs do to a lot of D&D &D parties where he's like, sure, yeah, okay. <laughs> just like blink, blink, blink. Yeah. <laughs> That meme. It's just like, I know better than to ask questions at this point. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if you have anyone that can do anything like a lorry or something in the meanwhile, if we can find. She. Edelay said it was Elfrod. Elfrod? Interesting. Uh, they had a fancy that. name for it. But Elfrod. I've not heard of that one. Strange. She's a bit better now. I gave her one of the things that we found ages ago. Far from here. Um, well, uh, I'm sure I have something I should be doing. Uh, I'll come back when we find Mina. Very well. Speak to you soon then, my good. And, um, just, uh, if, if you could do me a favor. Uh huh. Don't, um, mention this to anyone. He kind of motions <coughs> to, like, where he and, uh, Ellery were standing a moment ago. Uh, okay. A kind of <laughs> slightly blank expression. Thank you. Um, I don't know if he's glowing slightly in the semi dark at, at this big golden mm -hmm. ball. Just like, huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, don't maybe don't tell people too much that you have an elf here. Of course. Of I mean, course. the folks outside kind of saw. I'm sure, but she probably doesn't want to be found. I'm imagining this conversation has taken place after they've like put her to bed kind of thing, which is why I'm speaking about her in the third person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> of course, my good. Uh, I'm, good. I'm afraid of things to come, you know? It's, um, well, it's all you are? coming to a head, isn't it? It seems that way anyway. Uh, he kind of like uh, scratches, like maybe ra round the back of one of his horns or something. It's like, I mean, I, I guess it was kind of a lot when all those that army of dragons flew through the sky, but we killed them. I'm not sure if you were watching. I'm not a fighter, Makud. I'm. Not like you no, and but... Siggy and the rest of the... Well, I just... Want you to must see have heard, things. though, right? Oh, yes, Magood, I have heard extensive tales, and you know, when, when all this is over, I want to hear you tell it, but... We should save that. Yeah, there's probably be a long tale. There was like a lot of Minotaurs. 
It'll take me a long time to tell you all of their names. I was going to say, I have it in my head that Magoo's planning on literally saying every single one. Yes. And then he did this thing, and then this thing happened, and then... Yeah, um... instead of, like, this army attack this bit, it's he and he and her and them and they and him and her. Or <laughs> just, like, go through the names. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but uh, we will. I should find where Bryn is. Yeah, we'll cut. Over We're in the him. middle of a plan. Because <laughs> <laughs> conspiratorially whispers to him. Oh, you should you should speak to Bryn then. He nods and heads off to presumably find Alluri. Um, presumably. Meanwhile, Bran, Bryn. Bryn. <laughs> uh. For no reason, I'm going to uh, become the king. Never mind. It's Bryn. My name's Bryn, not Bran. Uh, Bryn the Broken. Yep. And so, uh, anyway, Eli. Yeah, you find him uh, sitting on in like a sort of booth, uh, chatting to several individuals uh, over like a what appears to be a casual game of cards, though Eli's... Uh, pile of chips is substantially larger than everyone else's. I'll, I'll slide into the booth next to him. Uh, so, um, I kind of need a favor, Eli. Of course, Bryn. Anything for you. What can I do for you? I need you to uh, contact Mina and tell her that we made it back safely and for her to go ahead and return as well. Sure thing up. Um, return from where? Uh, we... You know, it probably would be best for her to tell you where we've been. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So we were at the palace. Things the... went a little side. Yeah. Palace. Palace. The, the palace, yes, the palace. Where the elves are. Things went sideways. I thought Makud was holding her hand, and he thought I was holding her hand. You could see how, you know, hilarity uh, ensued once we realized that no one was holding her hand. We were invisible, and she got lost. Can you please just say the message now? Oh, uh, you're in. You're invisible. Yes. Uh... And he kind of like. He does that thing where you're like your husband talking to your wife or whatever, and he like turns away. He's like, "Hey, baby," uh, you know, like doesn't want them to hear him saying that you love her over the phone. He's like, uh, "The uh... yeah," and you hear him like switch back to his normal accent as opposed to the one he puts on around everyone else. Is uh, I just had a strange conversation with Bryn. Uh, she says they got out safe and you can come back now? Mina, you received that sending uh, while you're squatting in a garden. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, she just like lets out a uh, sigh of relief and... Um, She's been here for a while. What are the uh, guard patterns in this part of the garden? Like, uh, I mean, you've you've been here for an hour and a half or so, uh, getting mm -hmm. maybe towards two hours, uh, somewhere in between. Uh, the guards haven't changed. There's just two guards, uh, kind of leaning up against the palace gates. Okay. And a, a few like walking along the walls back and forth, but quite predictable. Okay, if they got that safe, then she is just going to go uh, grasp her kopesh and go ethereal and just uh... Oh, I just had a bad thought. Nope, she's gonna walk out and she's gonna leave. <laughs> she's not gonna use the etherealness to do any spying because that might be foolish. Mm -hmm. She's gonna go. <laughs> that is cool hubris, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I almost fell for it. But then 
wise Mina kicked in and squashed down dumb impulsive C. And yeah, she takes the, the Kopesh and walks out. Um, I don't think she knows how to get to the Six Eyes hideout without the teleportation. You did have a return message, so you could always say... Yeah, 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 yeah. Also yeah. I, I was just... Before. Mm -hmm. Huh? You've also walked there before. Have, have they we? moved? Yeah. You... Because oh, remember, like, you... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Right, maybe I'm misremembering. I'm pretty sure you had to get there. I know Eli had to walk, because, like, you know, he... Hmm... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I guess I guess we would. I guess we would have. So, yeah, she's just gonna walk through a char ethereal where nobody can stop or bother her. Uh, but before she does, she will reply to uh, Eli's message um, before leaving this plane, I guess I should say. She'll uh, reply to Eli's sending with a Okay, good. I was hanging around to make sure that they didn't get into trouble. Uh, I will have to come the long way. Be home soon. You need help? He will ask back. Hmm. I should be fine. Uh, nothing can touch me with my Kopesh. It'll just take a while. Realize right. I only have 25 words, so. Yeah. I will see you soon then. Uh, she will not reply because she will uh, be saving that reply for an oh shit, I need trouble mm -hmm. type of thing. And I think Eli. And her have had these sending stones for a while now. That that's probably a common thing for her. I think I feel like, you know, if he used up the last charge, she's gonna save it, basically. <laughs> so he knows not to panic if she doesn't reply to that yeah. last one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you are with. Etherealness able to escape quite uh, handily. You make it out uh, of the palace and into the night. Uh, and yeah. Also, I'm not going to lie, you guys, I forgot I had the etherealness for like a hot minute there. <laughs> and I was all like, oh shit, I'm going to have to like just fly up over the wall. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Whew. I'm glad you had it left over. <laughs> um, I was just saying, Makut, like, finds Bryn, gets appraised of the situation, perhaps goes between kind of being very impatient for, like, <laughs> this is probably the longest they've waited for Mina to come back from something. Is it? Why should she hear yet? Why is she here yet? Um, and he'll spend some of the two hours or whatever it takes for Mina to walk home yeah. through the sewers and everything uh, with Adelaide basically ca catching up to an extent but I imagine she also needs to rest maybe there's some like yeah. you know dabbing foreheads with towels type you are sick type thing um, maybe bringing of food etc but he will just spend some time with her yeah she um she isn't much for conversation right now but you can tell like the company is doing a lot for her and even if it's just like you literally just sit there and you know tell her about all the amazing things you've done while she half listens like just having a friendly face you know and someone to talk to you can tell that kind of you know that, that means a lot uh, to, so Door. Yeah. Um, but uh, eventually, uh, you hear like a hey, kind of cry go up uh, as Abrishmina walks in the door. 
I made it, everyone. Do not be afraid. I am here. We knew you would find your way back. I knew you had the faith in me. <laughs> Never had a doubt. I did uh, wait around a bit to make sure that you guys were safe before leaving. I thought it was best to stay stationary. And she'll tell Bryn, like, oh, I just found the gardens and chilled for a bit. <laughs> yeah. It's quite peaceful. They've got a nice garden. <laughs> When you have to cultivate it. <clears throat> Found some interesting information out while we were there. Things I think uh, in the right hands might be useful. Oh. I'll kind of glance around, to make sure we're not being watched or listened to. Yeah, you've got a boost to yourself. So, uh, while we were walking around, there were every, I don't even know how many, every so often we'd see these elves and they were like hacking into handkerchiefs and things like that. They didn't look so good. And when we got to, uh, Magood's friend, Adelaide, she was sick too. Hmm. Does she know what it is? She called it elf rot. Have I heard of elf rot? You can make a very difficult history check. Okay. I'm gonna guide myself. Because I forgot I can do that. Um, 12. So no. Yeah, you got no idea. I mean, you I know, know the trip to the are. library. You know what? Elves <laughs> bully that librarian. <laughs> Why would I go to the library now? I have a a um an arcana loth that <laughs> enjoys oh, these true. things. <laughs> hmm. Whatever it, it is, I don't. Just just to see the face of that librarian when we could return <laughs> several of these moments. <laughs> I thought I was free of him because of the martial no. law. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, um, oh no, oh no. <laughs> well, I don't uh, believe I can do anything or try anything to help her now. But perhaps <sighs> excuse me, tomorrow. Makuda we'll gave her something that we found up north. Hmm. Yeah. Seems like it might have worked a little bit. I can see Pretty well, at least. I can examine her later. I'm sure she is very tired. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, the evening is yours if there's anything else you wish to do. My British man that wants to go take a bath because she had to walk through the sewers the long way. And she probably got uh, lost a few times. Oh, for sure. You, yeah. you know that etherealness like ran out just as he reached the sewers. Like, like three steps in and he just fades and he's like, oh. Oh, that's right. I would have been ethereal, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't need a bath. Never mind. For eight hours, is it? Yeah, eight hours. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Abrashmina arrives, Christine, uh, probably maybe a little bit faster because she could just like walk through like the wall if there was like a roundabout that was blocked off. <laughs> she could just walk through it or whatever. She yeah. just speed ran a shower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she just... through the barriers and stuff. No, no clip speed run through a shower <laughs> to the six size place. Um, but yeah, she'll go drink with Eli. Yeah. You guys, uh, yeah, enjoy a nice evening. Uh, Make sure yeah. that Makud knows that I made it back before. Sure. I, yeah. He would have come down when the noise rose up anyway, and mm. uh, probably tell you that she's breasting or whatever, but you should look and sickness and hold up the thing mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that Bryn mentioned and such. 
Yeah. She will promise to try and do something to help Adelaide in the morning. Yeah. Well, uh, that morning does come, thankfully. Um, you guys, uh, I imagine, spent, spent the night in the thing. But yeah, you get a long rest. Uh, you find uh, it's it's a nice atmosphere. Like, even though the... Uh, the places a bar full of thieves like there's definitely a sort of camaraderie that everyone has uh, you know and everyone's kind of in this shit together but you have this one safe place and there's definitely that kind of like yeah I guess just a like a nice kind of feeling of being safe among you know among friends so you're able to get a good night's sleep in. I uh, imagine, Makud, you probably spend the night, like, watching over Edelay. You know, she definitely, like, wakes up a few times and mm -hmm. is glad to have you, uh, you know, there to, to comfort her when she's in unfamiliar surroundings. Makud's just like, lucky I walked along this show's long. Oh. <laughs> and just reclining on this tiny, delicate thing. I did have word of recall prepared. I'm a silly Billy. Cool. You saved your spell slot, though. <laughs> yeah, because that would have just taken me to Vale's temple, and I still would have had to mm -hmm. come through, so. Hike it. And you wouldn't have had Ethereal on us. So you yeah. It's about awful, so. That's that, I guess. Uh, yeah, McCood would have tended and probably just sort of slept up against a wall in the corner or something. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, next morning comes and you guys all can regroup and find yourselves uh, getting some nice Bloody Marys prepared by Uvir and you know, breakfast whiskey, whatever your plan is. Um, but yeah, the day's yours able to do whatever you wish would like to examine Adelaide yeah uh, you can go find her uh, mm -hmm. she will pretty much stay in her bedroom unless uh, you know someone comes and kind of requests that she leave she's definitely like not super comfortable in this environment um, you know it's taking a bit of you know, it's, it's just a bit of uh just a bit different, I guess. Um, but uh, when you find her, uh, you can tell um, you know, she's just kind of sitting in her room. Uh, like the few possessions, the gold, the uh, other stuff that she brought with her, just kind of arrayed next to her. Um, and she doesn't look, I mean, not that you saw her the day before, but she doesn't look as bad as that, but she doesn't look great, uh, she's definitely, like, a little, uh, a little unwell, her eyes are, like, ringed with pinkish red again, she's, um, yeah, I mean, she looks just pretty terrible, uh, so. Your people do not know what this Elfrat is? She shakes her head. It's so strange, but uh, we have no idea. We have people who are trying to discover its source, but we were never mm. able to learn. I think we must have been cursed. That is the most obvious solution to me. Mm. Oh, your people have been dealing with devils for a while now? A long while, yes. These are the sort of things that happen. It is... Curses in the life. 
a dark, a dark thing that has happened to our people, but we deserve it. That is, there are a few who would disagree with me on that. Um, why don't you make me a, a medicine check to see if you can kind of determine any information about this uh, elf rock? Guide yourself. Guide yeah, us. Yeah, I'm going to use Guide my yourself inspiration. You hide yourself. Oh, <laughs> with my inspiration, that was a good call, BT Dubs, because it went from a 4 to a natural 20 for a total of 20... Nine. Okay. With the guidance. So, to you, it doesn't seem uh, like uh, it doesn't seem like a disease. It seems more like poison. Um, it has the hallmarks of some kind of either poison or like. Maybe an allergic reaction, like there's something doing it to her. It's not just a pathogen. Hmm. Um. Hmm. In that case, uh, what Makud did for you yesterday would not. Wor have worked as well because it was a poison or or a curse uh, that wouldn't cure it because it's not a disease am I right? I think well his thing did do that... poison as well it did do poison yeah. as well yeah. does she look like she's rec like covering or is she still suffering she... with a natural 20 do I think that this is just residual weakness and she's now on the mend it's not just residual weakness in in your estimation she was cured but she her exposure to whatever was causing it is not over so she's mm -hmm. slowly being poisoned again hmm And of course, Makood like brought all of her things <laughs> from the tower. So if she, it's something that she still has that's making her sick, uh, it's still around making her sick probably because he brought everything. Um, can I do like a quick little text magic to see if I can? Um, Sense some sort of magical source of yeah, you can definitely the poison. Try. Okay, I'm gonna use a charge from my wand of magic detection because that's a thing I have apparently. So does she sense any magic on yeah, Adelaide or letting the cat out? Uh, no. No magic on Adelaide. No magic on anything in the room. Okay. Well, she will share her theory with Adelaide. Um, what is one thing that even an elf like you, who was under house arrest, had access to in the palace? Did you all eat the same food? Drink Just... the same water? bathe in the same We've they didn't bathed. let you in the bath did, uh, did they well not the same bath I suppose but my water comes from the same place mm, that's spring beneath the palace right that's right do you guys do any sort of Magical things to protect that water source? Um, to clean it? Because I know it's magically brought up into the palace because that's not how gravity works. Yeah. 
because it was it was of Shar's oasis, but they redirected it up into the palace because yeah. they're a bunch of dicks. I I don't think so. I I don't really know much about magic. You think hmm. the water was poisoning us? It's possible. Uh, now that you are. It might take a little while for it to get completely out of your system, but if that is the case, any of the water you drink out here won't. It's not the same, because you all would not share... <laughs> you all would not share the water with everyone else. I... I suppose. Not even with the slaves and sovereigns inside? Did any of them get sick? She shakes her head. On, only mm. the elves. Maybe there is something in the water supply that is making you all sick. There's a tiny little evil part of Abershmina that is like thinking to itself. We should go find out what it is and try to help it. Mm. <laughs> Tiny, tiny little evil part of her. <laughs> I was like, no, we should find out what it is and make it stop. Probably. I guess. I guess. Uh, no. Or tell the others. Yeah. <laughs> like, how are you doing a thing that only targets the elves? Are you going to stop with are the elves? Selling? <laughs> it's like, are you stopping with the elves? Or are they just the first step? If not, can you can can you stop? <laughs> if not, we're gonna punch in the nose, probably. Uh, yeah. So, uh, is there anything I think I can do to help her? Uh, right now, make her I mean, recovery fearing, any faster. If I did poison, if I did greater. Sorry. Curing poison. Yeah, if you if you cure her of poison, she'll be basically reset back to zero, and the poison count will be ticking up again. If that makes okay. Sense. Um. So you can give her some relief. Well, see, I prep with greater restoration. <laughs> Have nothing to do with poison. Lesser restoration from the Veil Staff. Ha ha! Nice. Yay! Yeah, she'll use a charge from the Staff of Healing to uh, cure her of the poisoned condition. Very well. Uh, she immediately seems better. Uh... Changing. And then, yeah, massively improved. I will tell her to rest, take two teas, and get back to me in the morning. And then I'm gonna go tell the others that the elves are being poisoned by something. Probably, I think I could maybe divine or or cry or oof. What is that? What if that's the weapon that was in Iramine? Uh, yeah, telling the others so that they can get their brain juices going on. Brain juice, yeah. That tasty, tasty snack, brain snack. Do you think the dragons could help? They're like the only thing older than elves, right? Hmm. Or the, or they. Skinny demon who likes the books. We could always send the. Uh, get. Well, if it is not something that is written in the book, I do not think that Goldie will be able to find us anything out about it that we could not discover with our own kind of crying. Even that ability you have, Makut, that could. That has a reach of a mile, doesn't it? Your little auger thing. Clairvoyance. 
Yes. Your, yeah, your clairvoyance? I can look places that I have already been. Oh, only that you've already been? I, I think that's what is the thing about clairvoyance. Like you have to know of the area. I can just quickly check. Um, uh, clairvoyance. In a, in a location familiar to you. Oh, okay, okay. Or, uh, or in an uh, obvious <laughs> location that is unfamiliar. So it's the rest of the palace is probably obvious, but I've also been different places in the palace. Well, if you That's... know that the oasis is like X feet below the palace, which I think the Six Eyes know that because that's how they told us they got into the palace was through the oasis, like little up spout thing. Mm -hmm. You want uh, me to try and check on the oasis itself, the, the spring? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can always scry, but I was trying. That's good. Maybe... Like you have a one one day ability that you can do that, that you don't always have a thing to use it for. Sure. So I thought I'd suggest it. <laughs> if you can, I would imagine he would respond more to like landmarks. So if you basically mm -hmm. said like, imagine a tower, like or something beneath the ground, and then mm -hmm. he would like try and imagine that rather than feet, because he would just completely you would be lost yeah. at that point. But yes, I, I think you how, can how many to him. How many uh, uh, of him standing on his shoulders down? Or um, the name of the arena? What? The Vakar. The Vakar. How many Vakar down does he need <laughs> to imagine? <laughs> to look at the oasis or the, the it, like spring. Yeah, like the, the, the spring. water, the spring, the water, the water source. I'll say half of Vakar. Half of Vakar. Half of Vakar, yeah. He knows the Vakar pretty well. Yeah, he might not <laughs> know like you know, but he knows gro <laughs> he knows geography and stuff. Um, it's like up to like whenever the the people are doing the signs and they do your face to the little blackguards, uh, up to where they do your nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that time that they put someone else's face on the vicar? That was a bad time. Um, <laughs> just gets distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have oh, to be see, within. You know, I was, I was thinking, I was thinking of like you know the little, they do a baseball games where they hold up the signs and they mm -hmm. like flip them and stuff. And um, <laughs> one time they did it and it was a big old painting of Makud. Amazing, uh, Makud's best day. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Um. I, if we can go for a walk and get within a mile, I would clairvoyance. You can. Probably like a sort of, you know, it, I think before he like, you know, shifted to the misty place, kind of as Enthris as his kind of invisible sensor. And when we scouted that ship. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so I don't think you have to make a roll for it, right? It just happens. Yes, you create an invisible sensor in a location familiar or obvious location unfamiliar. Uh, the sensor remains in place for duration, uh, which is up to 10 minutes. Uh, and I can see or hear. And as an action, I can switch between either seeing or hearing. And if any of the creatures have seen visibility or true sight, they can see a luminous and tangible orb the size of your fist or, or Enthris, if we're flavoring it that way, I suppose. Yeah. And mini Enthris, the size of your fist. <laughs> Tiny Enthris. The, the focus uh, is actually 100 GP or a jeweled horn. For hearing or a glass eye for seeing. Uh, I have dual tones already. Um, yeah. Luckily, they don't get used up by the spell. Yeah. Um, but I think because I'm communing with the spirits, they take the form of the spirit, and I don't do the material component anyway. But... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Well, yeah. Uh, you uh, spy on the spring, uh, the water flowing upwards inside this like large open uh cavern and it kind of like uh, it looks like a, a sort of long kind of thin waterfall but 
you realize it's flowing the opposite direction. But aside from that, um, you can't really make out anything strange or poisonous or anything like that going on. Give me a perception check. It's just to see the demons cackling just out of sight, like chanting and poisoning the well. Uh, perception, 19. 19, yeah. Um, you're pretty certain that you've given it a good look. You don't think there's anything poisoning the water, at least in the spring, and you're pretty confident of that. So, I, I, I don't know how close, but maybe I can teleport out of the bushes to, like, the Mirage or somewhere else and do the thing and then come back again to the others. Yeah, for sure. Rather than everyone tracking out of the sewer just for me to do the thing and then us maybe go back there. But Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, so he will arrive back again after like the 10 minutes that he has to commune with Enteris and <clears throat> 10 minutes of the spell or something and I didn't see anything uh, poisoning the water the water is flowing upwards though like a waterfall but in reverse I think I that got is, a good look. That is how it is uh, supposed to be, I think. Considering the the magics. Um. <clears throat> so, is it something else? Or are they poisoning it somewhere else? Or... It's entirely possible. We're even sure that that's how the poison's getting in, right? We're not sure. Just a guess. It was a just good a. Guess. It's just a yeah, guess. It was a good... I can do some divinations. I just didn't want to rely on that. <laughs> Is that the lady like, feeling better now she's away from that place? She seems to be. Yes. Uh, whenever I was. Thought it might be a poison. I used some magics to help purge her of the condition. She seems to be doing better now. Okay. Uh... Have you tried asking your god? Or Veil? Not yet, I was going to. We were trying this. Okay. We were trying this first. I'm happy to help. I'm helping. Are you going to do some communes and stuff now? Uh, I might as well. I, I just what? imagine like Bryn and, and Maku just like, I'm helping. And then like you get down to your talking to your guard and they're like, breakfast whiskey. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Or, like gambling with Eli, just like McCoot sits down, and goes back to his hand, and like looks across for me. Like, I hope you haven't been looking at my cards. <laughs> never, uh, never just like, oh well, we tried. It's in Mina's cot now. <laughs> Solve our problems, I've, Mina. I've put the information request in. We should see results in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's with the acquisitions yeah. team now. Yeah, uh, Abrashmina will um, get out her little scrying the the deck of the seer mm -hmm. and um, is gonna do a little bit of divination magics. Oh yeah. Um, starting with I always have to look these up because I can ever remember which one is which. Um, specific, a single question concerning specific goal or event. 
or activity to occur within seven days. Short phrase, cryptic crime, or an omen. Um, yeah, she's going to cast Divination, fourth level spell, with the uh, deck of the seer. Okay. And she's going to ask, where can we find what is poisoning the elves? answer you receive back is uh, you can find it almost anywhere everyone has some the elves more than most mm. I wanted it to be as cryptic as possible <laughs> that was great um, hmm. Okay, so then she's going to follow that up with commune for the yes-no questions. Um. Are you taking the piss? No. No, no, as in that's her first question. Oh. <laughs> uh, Sorry. no. Uh, her first question would be, um. Uh. Can the poison harm anyone? Only elves? That's what she'll ask. Only elves. Only moon elves. Yes. That's quite a generous answer because I could be an absolute bastard about that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, um, are they actively being poisoned by someone or some, yeah, by someone? Only their or own folly, i.e. no. Okay. Okay, um... <laughs> Does he who watches want me to cure them? He wishes... The yeah, answer's uncertain. He wishes uh, only that people die when they're meant to die and are judged the way they should be judged. Mm. Guess that was kind of her way of saying, is this part of his plan? <laughs> because, you know, he totally could orchestrate something that would only <laughs> affect them. Uh <laughs> Okay, it's so coronavirus. <laughs> I mean, it could be. I don't know. Um, okay, that's it for for now, I guess. Well and done. she'll tell the others uh, what she learned. That it's something that is almost everywhere. Everyone has some. The elves have more than most. Um. Uh, they are not actively being poisoned. This is their own folly. So probably them accumulating something that they don't necessarily need. But if they weren't hoarding it, it wouldn't be hurting them as much as it is. Um, and we should probably do something about it, I guess. Uh, being poisoned <laughs> by their own folly, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I wrote like a general Makud. What is? What, how good is Makud thinking right now? Mm -hmm. He crit, so I'm going to say what I actually thought, which is, mm -hmm. what about life or gold? 
And I have a lot of both. I mm. would say life. Not everyone has gold. But then the wheels start to fall off with it. It's almost everywhere. Sure. It's almost everywhere. Life. Some places there isn't any life, right? They do right. have more than most. Perhaps they're being poisoned by... Old age? <laughs> well, it could I, I be honestly that. was going to make the joke that it was free radicals. And they were just <laughs> slowly destroyed from the inside out. But... Being poisoned by their own... Are they doing something to unnaturally extend their life beyond... Like, we could ask maybe could ask Adelaide um, greed where maybe. is Thal is Thal looking okay this is something that's almost everywhere he's yeah. half moon elf he looks, he looks fine uh, <clears throat> the other okay. moon elf you know uh, whose name I'm current blanking on Aluri's half moon elf she, is, she looks fine, fine. Uh, I mean Thal's half moon elf as well yeah and the, then the, you have a full-blooded one the the yeah aranthus <clears throat> oh i'm gonna send the message to aranthus <laughs> because he's old as balls doesn't seem sick but has newly returned to the city so he would know maybe he's heard of the elf rat before too it's not actually the so. elf i was thinking of the guy who runs the school you know, I don't remember his name. Yeah. <laughs> Amina has a much closer. Power. Yeah, Amina has a, a much closer relationship with Aranthus, yeah, so that's sure. where she would go first. Iolas so, is the other guy. Yeah, she would say, uh, "Aranthus, the Moon Elves—that's one word—are suffering from some sort." of elf rot do you know what this is a poison um uh, last word mate excess question mark i have no idea what that okay. could be i've never heard of that before uh, are you feeling okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. he sound? Does he, he sounds, sound okay? He sounds fine. Okay, then. Uh, she will also ask, Aeolus. Then. Aeolus. 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 Moon elves are sick from a, an. Elf rot, some sort of poison or disease. What are they doing to themselves to cause this? You okay? <laughs> he says, I know of the elf rot. Many of the people who I lived with when I lived there, had it, but I never succumbed. Oh. Ayala seems to know something about this elf rot. Perhaps we should go visit. He means just he never succumbed to the disease. Or whatever. Yeah, but... I don't know, that seems like he knows a bit more. Didn't I mean, it? He, he doesn't know any more than Adelaide. Knows. Okay, okay. Kind of like he okay, knows that it's a okay. thing yeah. it, it, out there, but he has no idea like where it comes from. As far as we know, he has no idea where it comes from or anything like that. Because yeah, um, he was last in the palace like a while ago, right? Yeah. Like he's not this generation. He's much older. Than he's not. Him. He's not like he's not like Adelaide who tried to get free. Uh, this decade, yeah, he's he like hasn't, he hasn't lived there for. Because his school, his school has been around for a while. Yeah. Okay. 
Our ancestor doesn't have a lot of gold. Mm -mm. Don't imagine I list us either. That's true. My, uh, and maybe it, they're not very greedy. Adelaide gave it another mm. name, correct? Uh, Adelaide called oh, it. Uh, Nisande. It was Missandry or something. Missande. Missande. I'll send it to you. That's just Moon Elf for Elfrot or something, yeah. right? It's, it is, yeah. But it might trigger. Yeah, yeah. Something, maybe. Well, I was thinking perhaps we could track down the word or root of the word and see if there was any information there that might give us a clue. Mm hmm. I really have to resist calling that, <laughs> calling Goldie that demonic nerd. Um, <laughs> like every time I think about him, um, we're going to talk to that skinny demon who likes the books. A devilish geek. Yes, you <laughs> devilish geek. Devilish dork alliteration, please. <laughs> nice. What a, we could, but what if like. <laughs> Do the, the Moon Elves have any enemies? I mean, besides anyone who feels subjugated by them? Or has, like, their wits about it to be angry about it? And well, all of the mortal gods do not care for them in particular, considering they don't try. believe that they exist, even though they totally do. Brishmina says, like, nodding and patting her holy symbol. <laughs> Where did they come from? If you are to did believe they... the legends, they came from the stars. Stars? Stars. That's hard to say in my accent. My fake Stars like the sky. Yes, they fell from the moon, I think is how it went. Or a star fell, and they were there. I can't remember. Off of the top of my head. <clears throat> DM voice? Yes. That's right, I, I missed the last part of that. Can you repeat, please? I was basically asking for clarification. It was like either they, like, a star fell and they came from it, or they came from the, the moon itself. I couldn't remember. Yeah. Maybe, maybe this came with them. Yeah, so the like law of them goes, yeah, they basically appeared like um, alongside like some great kind of cosmic shift in the moon and kind of brought about a new age. Uh, like some people say they rode in on a star, but no one really knows. Hmm. So the general consensus is we wish to cure them of this? We just I... find out what is causing it. I don't want Adelaide to die. She hasn't done anything. I don't know about all the other moon elves. Maybe there's some good ones. It seems to be something that happens to the palace elves. I don't know. Maybe they are the oldest ones or the richest ones. This is what they get for taking a bath in the room. Or the most hydrated. The most hydrated. This all of this is just a yeast infection, a really nasty yeast infection. <laughs> they keep using the pool over and over again. <laughs> a UTI. That's what's going to break the blow, is it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, maybe we just find out where this is coming from. We could go look. Just make a, cho a choice yes. then. Apparently this they is... can't see us when we're invisible, so now we can come and go. 
we know it was a nice trick, but this time we need to make sure we know who's holding whose hand. <laughs> we shall have a system. And it will be like a Mexican wave, just like dance style. Does Sherat need to know about this? About what? Let's Our system. Tell us to look. Oh, the system. No. I'm just no. I'm I'm kidding, Maku. Does he need to know okay. that we're essentially looking into? He didn't know the... anything about the elf rod. He'd never heard of it. He also said Sounds he wasn't like a... a fighter. Which Trying to be a know. closely guarded secret as well. If they are trying to portray themselves as gods, gods do not get sick. It might be why they the illusions were around. trying. Uh, that might be why they were trying to call the rebellion with us, because they did not feel the did not want to fight it while they were so sick. But you know, whenever um, I pointed out to Turian, like, "Hey, you're sick. Maybe you should um, not be so." unreasonable and he was all like nah fuck you anyway so I don't know maybe fuck him I mean that and the fact they were using illusions to hide their probably their sickness is what I'm now thinking mm -hmm. this could the be very is... I just I think we should let Sherat know even more because this could be a very powerful tool for him Mm hmm They are really sick, and I do not know if I should be scared that they let us see it. I don't think they intended to let us see it. We got lucky. Mm, I the think that's... Just... They didn't know we were there when they were coughing into the... <laughs> Bloody no, but no, but Abrashmina very plainly like made a comment of, "Hey, you're sick." The shaky what makes, hands. How? Yeah. The how long do you hand. think? Yeah. How long do you think you can keep this up? And he was very put 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 about it. So, uh, if he was worried about them finding, he wasn't worried about them finding out that, or wasn't worried about the idea of her knowing that. He was sick, but, you know, maybe he thought we were going to die to a Rakshasa. Yeah. Uh, and it's not like he's like, you know, this is my good hand. Shake, 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 shake. This is my <laughs> Eldritch Blast hand. Shake, 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 shake. I mean, he was actively trying to hide it. Yeah. I just why... think that they don't see you for who you are. I don't think they wanted to give away that they were sick. No, but we are better than all. they thought we were. Yes, I'm just concerned that if they were trying to hide it, I did not react at all whenever I brought it up. I feel like if they were like, oh no, people can't find out we're sick, they would have had a reaction, I think. I mean, That's what I mean. Yeah. Am I not, I, 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 no, I am I not. I, okay. You make sense. No, no. You make okay. sense. I just... Uh, I th I think they underestimate you so much that they might think that you're not a threat and don't believe you. It's basically Makud's point, is that oh, I see, they I don't see, give I you any credit. Yep. Uh, it's going to believe us because they're fucking gods. Oh, and uh, if they had any idea that we were about to fight a Rakshasa, they probably think that that pile of goo was supposed to be us. You know, I mean, they... They might think it is us. They might. Do they lucky. think we're dead? <laughs> it's next on Abrashmira's <laughs> divination. Uh, Technically, they never saw us leave. They saw us come in, but they never saw us leave. Mm-hmm. That is true. We totally Maybe play we that killed... to our advantage. He killed us and then returned to his home plane. <laughs> Aha, we have been a lumpy carpet this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> the god all that remains is this lumpy carpet. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I, I have. Oh, excuse me. I'm oh, sorry. <clears throat> I don't think I have enough charges left in the deck to find that out <laughs> today or not. <laughs> you know, I don't think we need to find it out today. No. I don't think this is going to no. be a problem we're going to solve. Like in a matter of, you know, it's going to take research. Yeah. Do we talk okay. to the researchy demon then? The what? What do you guys decide to call him? The nerdy Goldie. devil or whatever? The dorky devil. Yes. The dorky, dorky devil. devil. The horned geek. <laughs> or dorky demon, whichever one he actually is. I can't keep them straight. The one who likes the books. Should. <laughs> Okay, we, we are talking to Abishmina. <laughs> <laughs> we need to to somewhere else before we. I wouldn't bring him to the six eyes if we're going to set him on a journey. We could go. Probably not. Let's, let's go out to the desert or the mirage. He's been to the mirage. To... Okay, he's been to the mirage. Okay. Oh, I'll be right back, Eli. Don't look at my cards. <laughs> <laughs> Take the cards with you. <laughs> Raccoon just standing there with his hand, not allowed, not showing anybody, even though like Mina probably isn't in the game. Bryn, he's given like side eye <laughs> too. Um, <laughs> if I wanted to know your cards, I read your mind. God. If you like said anything while reading his mind, it just starts talking out loud again because he doesn't realize. Mm -hmm. What do you say to me? Um, so we poof into the dusty, sandy mirage. Yeah, uh, you appear to find it as you left it, dusty and sandy. It's uh, yeah, still pretty empty. Um, Uh, send the message to Goldie. Saying. Um. Goldie. We might have more work for you. Researching. A poison or. Hered hereditary disease. Among moon elves. If you are interested, meet us at the Mirage. Perfect. 25. Exactly. Uh, there is. I'm the anti jester. A few seconds and then a uh, uh, sulfuric poof uh, as Goldie appears facing away from you and kind of frowns and then realizes he's the wrong way around and turns. Uh, Oh, sorry, I thought you were, um, anyway, this poison? Hmm, something is making the elves very sick, and I cast Exposition. He, uh, will take that under <laughs> advice. I failed my save. <laughs> I was exposed to. Exposited to. <laughs> he, uh, will take that under advisement. And uh, we'll begin a process of research. Okay. How have you been, Goldie? <laughs> I've I've been all right, thanks. Uh, you know, spending the money you gave me. You know, eating lots of uh, lizards on sticks. You really. I wasn't really a fan until you turned me on to them, Maku. Oh, well, <laughs> that is wonderful news. I'm glad you enjoy what a lot of people, I think, are missing out on. And he kind of looks to Bryn. There was no lizard on sticks in Cullend. None. It was strange. Shakes his head. I don't know if they have many lizards up there. They're not, not really. on sticks. Oh, no, they're uh, a little cold for them up there. If you find a way to have them imported, you might be able to start a trend. Well, uh, 
that uh, Fun. might be a good business opportunity. He shrugs. Next, we must conquer a fleet of ships. Worldwide shipping of lizards on sticks. I meant wide shipping. Neath wide. Neath shipping. I didn't, I didn't, I suppose, like, Lament is a big enough market. Neath is huge. Like, Neath going is. all the way to Shaokun and elsewhere. Uh, Delios? Was that the Greek island? I can't remember. Del yeah, Delios is the Greek island. Yeah. yeah. Well yeah. remembered. Yeah. I remember things <laughs> sometimes. Um... Good. I'm glad you were okay, and I'm glad you will find a convenient and non-messy way to satiate your hunger, so your fingers don't get all sticky when you are handling those books. <laughs> it is the best snack for a scholar on the go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he uh, will go away and do some research for Yul today, uh, today, um, and uh, I think we'll probably go ahead and end the session there. Woo!